Good morning, my friends. My name is Elizabeth Worm, and I am the Director of Religious Education at St. Peter's Parish. And even though masses are closed down right now, it still gives us the opportunity to learn. So I wanted to share a few thoughts with you this morning. We are in the time of Lent, and during Lent, um, three things that we're asked to do is to pray, fast, and give alms. So we're going to start with one of those today, with prayer. As you can see, I'm in the beautiful St. Peter's Chapel. And um, even though we can't go to Mass, there's still so many ways to go to Mass. St. Peter's is broadcasting live um, at 10 a.m. on WMFD. EWTN also offers the Mass. So please don't forget to take the opportunity to attend Mass in your own home. Even though you can't receive the Eucharist, you can still receive so much out of the Liturgy of the Word, God's words to you. But during Lent, we are asked to increase our prayer. Now, I'm not sure what your prayer life is right now. Maybe you pray in the mornings. Maybe you pray before you go to bed. Maybe you pray um, right before you eat something. But we need to think about that prayer and how we pray. Now, if you're like my kids, when we pray before meals, it says something like this. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts we were about up. It goes really fast, and we don't think about what we're doing. So in a time where everything has slowed down a little bit, it gives us the opportunity to slow down our prayer and really think about what we're doing. And one of the greatest ways to pray during Lent is through the Stations of the Cross. Now, I'm not sure that you're familiar with the Stations of the Cross, but the Stations of the Cross is a prayer where we pray with Jesus through his last moments in life. And a lot of times when we attend Stations of the Cross, the same thing happens, where we pray it very quickly, and we don't really think about what we're doing. But what we need to keep in mind is that Jesus was a real human, he went through real human emotions. The people around him went through real human stuff. And if you can imagine and just put yourself in his footsteps for a couple of minutes and thinking about the stress that he went through, about his poor mother who watched the whole thing, about his best friends who were right there with him and they were watching their friend die, what would you feel like? Take a second to just think about that. Let's walk with Jesus and take a second to think, what would be the real human emotions? I brought with me, for instance, this. And it says, Station 1, Jesus is told he's going to be put to death. Jesus always knew that this was going to be his end. He knew that he had something to fulfill. But even with that part of him, he was still a human. So did he feel fear? Did he feel anxiety? Was he worried about his mother? Was he worried about the pain? We need to think about that when we pray it. The next station, Jesus takes up his cross. What was going through his mind right then? What did he think was going to happen? He was already in a lot of pain. So what was happening with him? What was happening with Mary? What was happening with the apostles? What kind of fear was there? What kind of reality was there? If we skip ahead to another station where we have Veronica, wiping the face of Jesus, what would prompt a woman against all government regulations to run out into a crowd and wipe the face of Jesus? That's pretty powerful. Think about it at your school. If someone's getting bullied, are you the first one that steps up or are you one that steps aside and lets somebody else handle it? That's what Veronica was doing. There must've been fear there, but there was compassion and that's important to think about. Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. Another good one. 
because Simon was pulled out of the crowd, although he was a follower of Jesus, he had not intended to help. He was forced into it. And think about it in your own life. How many times are you forced to help when maybe you weren't anticipating doing that? Um, he stepped in, mostly because he was forced to, and he helped the Savior get to his destination, which was his death. Okay. So what your challenge is for this week in our little catechism here is to go over the stations of the cross. And there are many websites out there that can help you put them in order. Um, I would suggest Catholic Icing. They have a lot of good resources right there. Go through the stations of the cross and make your own stations. And what I want you to think about while you're making your own stations, draw a picture of what you think it would look like. And also, I want you to write them a little differently. Write them from the perspective, if you were a person there, what would you be thinking? What would you be feeling? Or think about, if I were Jesus, what would I be thinking? What would I be feeling? You'll be glad you did this because it helps us bring the faith to life. It's not just a story in the Bible. It is a story of our salvation with a real human person who was also God, but he had real human experiences. I hope you tune in again. And on Wednesdays, we're going to have Worship Wednesdays and do some praise and worship music. If you come to Vacation Bible School, you are very familiar with that, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll talk with you soon. Take care and um, just keep praying.